So here's something I didn't think I'd be doing. Um, today we're going to be talking about Disney's Lorcana. Now Lorcana is a collectible card game, which I'm sure you're more than aware of, that lets you take classic and modern Disney characters, build your decks, and usually fight against other people. Uh, that's not my thing. Okay, I didn't care at all about the collectible card aspect of it. I didn't care about the uh, competitive side, right? That wasn't my, my that wasn't my cup of tea, as they would say. However, with this Ursula's Return set, okay, they came out with something called the Illumineer's Quest. Uh, Illumineer's Quest, deep trouble in this case. What this is, is it's a solo, or, well, you can actually go up to, I think, four players, but I play it solo. And it's a challenge where you're trying to fight Ursula, right? So instead of going against other players, you and other players can go against a custom-built, uh, and you must always use the custom-built deck for Ursula. They even have, it even has their own card, special card backs. Normally, the card backs look like this. But for Ursula's deck, they're like that. So you can't get them mixed up. It, it's impossible. I mean, unless, you know, you don't look at them or you sleeve them, then yeah, you can get it mixed up then. But otherwise, you're all good. So now, uh, I bought this back in Magic days. They would have called it the Fat Pack. But not only did I get that, I got some, a few more cards. So, yeah. So let's get this thing out, take a look at it, see how we're going to play it. They do come, it does come with one thing that's absolutely pointless, but if you like the art, okay. You don't need it. I, I don't think I've ever used it. It's just, it's just a picture showing Ursula. What it does come with, though, is this. And I thought there were just two of them, right? And what it is, it's easy, uh, medium, hard, and... What the heck is the other? Hard, extreme, medium, hard, extreme, normal, medium, hard. Yeah. And they modify how the game plays. Uh, easy mode, of course, is going to have the best effects for you. Bad stuff for Ursula. However, if you go into hard, Ursula draws an additional card every turn. And that's the other thing. When you play regular Lorcana, usually you just draw the one card a turn. Ursula, not only does she draw cards based on this track here, you can go up to six, by the way. Uh, she doesn't have to pay for them. Like when, when we as, as well, I'll show you when we get to playing, but when we as players are, are looking at the characters, we have to be able to, like magic with lands, you have to tap the um, ink, I guess, I believe they call it ink, and that's how you pay for cards, but she doesn't have to. So we start off, we set out which difficulty we want, we'll put it on normal, then we take her deck. Her deck has one special card, and it tells you all this during setup, called Ursula's Stolen Trident. That goes into her Ursula's play area. Let me move this out the way for a minute. Okay, Ursula's play area activates every turn, and then you just take her cards, you shuffle her cards, and you set them up here. They have a hand spot, a discard spot, her inkwell spot, and then this track here. This track here is for lore, as it says, Then they have this track, which is for how many cards she's going to draw, and it even gives you a turn order thing. Um, we're not going to need, we're not going to need to look at that, because we know how to play. So, I will put this one up here because she starts off with drawing two cards a turn. Uh, I'll let this one here be Ursula, and I will take this one for me. I'm also going to pull out a few, and again, I've said it before and I'll say it again, these tokens are garbage. Uh, they, they couldn't spring for actual cardboard tokens. It's, it's barely above card stuff. Yeah. So I'm not a fan of that. But then I'll grab my deck, which is... No, I'll just grab this one. It doesn't matter right now for sure. Okay. Yeah, you 
take your cards. So when you set up Lorcana uh, to play, you'll have your 60 card deck and you'll draw seven cards. Seven cards. And you can do the mulligan where you can, you know, pick new ones. Uh, but I'm not going to do it just to show. But each of these cards has an ability cost, how much how much of the ink things you have to, to tap in order to use it, as well as any abilities, names, whether it's a character, whether it's an item. Um, there we go. Here's a character. It has this, which tells you how many of these lore points you get when you go questing for it, if you're, if you're not going to go out and fight. Uh, yeah. And, and you know, you'll have to figure out their special abilities and, and things as you're playing. That's not what we're here for. So, Ursula starts off at 2, she has her Stolen Trident, and she has, uh, we, ch we chose Normal. And we'll show you a little bit about how to play this. So Ursula is always, always, always going first. That's just the way it is, she always go first. Um, so what she does is she'll ready any cards in her row, so that's this one. Then. She's going to resolve the row, starting at the left and going to the right. And this one, you tap the card. I forget what they call it in here, but look, we're going to say tap. And it says gain one lore. So right away off the bat, she gets one just for being there. Ursula has to get to 40. If every person playing gets to 20, we win. Now, since I'm playing by myself, all I have to do is get to 20 and we win. And then, Ursula draws cards. Now the way she draws cards is different. So she takes however many cards she, she gets to draw, which is two, and you're supposed to set them here, but really, that's no, that's pointless. It, it, it's not, no, it doesn't make sense. Over turn one, if you have the ink to pay for it, it goes out. If not, it goes over here. Nope, she did not have the ink to pay for it. But now she has two in her stash. Uh, that's it for, honestly, that's it for Ursula's turn. And you always reveal the cards one at a time, just in case you, know, you get enough ink to play the next one. And then the players take their turn as normal. I'll draw a card. Um, I actually have a really bad hand. But I think we're going to... Again, this is just to show you, not, not an actual thing. We'll put one down, and then we'll use that one to pay for Owl, because there's Rabbit and Piglet, and there's Owl. Now he has no special ability, he has a little quote here, which is nice. Uh, but he also has uh, two attack, two defense, and one lore, I, again. So if I use him to go for lore, I will get a, a point. Uh, if I use him to attack, then he can attack characters up here. But when they first come out, they have the summoning sickness thing where they can't be used. So, we just let him sit. We did draw the card. And then it's Ursula's turn. Refresh. Give her another lore. Draw her two cards. So that's where she's at, is two. Her first card is Typhoon, but it's a five. Okay. It's a five. She can't play it. The next card is Hey Hey. That one she can play, so she puts it out. And let's see. Oh, Hey Hey is evasive, which means it's it's like flight, okay? Only characters with evasive can challenge it. Fairly simple. Alright, that's hers. We do ours. I'm going to... I got Flynn, but I'm turning Flynn into ink. Let's see. Just for giggles, we'll put out Phil. We'll spend both of these and we'll put out Phil. Again, I can't use Phil. Um, there are some that say you can use them right away, but he's not. Um, technically, I could kick Hey Hey in the face with Owl. Does that, that count as a cockfight? I don't know. 
but then that three would kill him, even though I would kill him. So right now, just to get on the board, I'll put myself here for one. Yeah, this track is kind of tiny for the tokens they give you. See what I mean by the tokens? You can't see that I'm on one, but it is what it is. Then it comes back to Ursula. Dun, dun, dun. So she gets one for this, and these things always do the questing. Boom, boom. Always do it. So now she goes from two to four. So I can put this on the one. And she draws her two. Now when she gets to 20, she'll draw an additional card. Gaston! And Magicka Dispel. Yep, nothing special for hers. His is positively prime evil. When you play this character, deal four damage to the opposing character with the lowest cost. Hmm. So he automatically punches somebody uh, for four with the lowest cost. That would be him. Owl just got killed. I knew I should have done something with him. Alright, so we draw. And we'll put this one down so we have three. Hmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put out Judy Hops for three. It says, when you play this character, banish an item. This, this is an item, but then the owner gets to draw a card. But we don't have that one out anymore. That's one good thing. Three. You know what, to heck with it. Phil's gonna take out Hey Hey just for the giggles of it to show you how that is. Let me slide the rest of these down. And then it's her turn again. One, two, three points. Oh shoot, I couldn't have done that. This one says lash out, you have to kill a character, so they would have been dead, so that would mean Hey Hey's still alive. Boom. That's the one point for it. It's alright, we'll leave it in. And she draws her two. Capsize. If you have six uh, or less, put the top three cards of your deck into the inkwell face down. If I have seven or more. So I gotta overturn three cards. Oh yeah, we also lose if we run out of cards in this one. One, two, and three. And flotsam. Nothing too special. He has bodyguard, but we don't have to care about that right now. Just that he, we have to attack him first. Hmm. We got stolen scimitar. Chosen character gets plus one attack this turn. If the character named Aladdin is chosen, you get plus two instead. Yeah. That's nice enough. that down and for four we'll put out Jasper. Now I could do this and get two and start climbing there. Um she can kill Hayha. Or she can put damage on one of the other ones. But no, I'm just going to get two, just to show you what it's like. And then, turn comes around, refresh all of hers, give her the points again, two, four, five, six. So she does get these things quickly, which is why she, hers goes up to 40. And that's really all there is to this. You keep playing this loop until either you get to 20, boom, 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 or she gets all the way up here to 40, which, as you can see, happens quickly. Otherwise, that's really all there is to it. You can They do have a couple of starter decks in this, so you're not left uh, without anything to play. So when you buy this Illumineer's Quest, it'll give you two starter decks as well as 
Ursula's deck. It also gives a special card that says do not open until you beat Ursula. Um, but I did beat her, so I do have that card unlocked. I'm not going to show you what it is, just because I don't want to. Um, I, want it to I want it to be your surprise. And but you can take any cards you have, which again is why I've, I've purchased a few, and you can build your own decks and, and, and face off against Ursula. I am hoping that they do more of these Illumineers quests, especially for the earlier editions, because it only this is the only one that I know of, is, is Deep Trouble with Ursula's. Um, but even still, you know, I keep playing it. But if they had more, like if they had the DuckTales one, or um, heck, even the one from the very first first set, that'd be nice. Uh, Aladdin, you could do a Jafar one for crying out. Any villain, you could turn into one of these quests and, and it would work. Uh, I just hope they do more. And if you have any questions on Lorcana, how to play, um, how to do the Illumineers, Illumineers quest, Feel free to reach out, and I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, have fun.